Hello everyone, this is Brother Larry, and this is the first House of Israel video broadcast. Alright, today we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about uh, the, the rapture. The rapture is uh, a pre-tribulation rapture. And first I want to talk about the true church in Revelations 3 verses 7 through 22. When I say the true church, this is the church that God's going to spare from God's wrath on the world. And that's why we know that there's going to be a pre-tribulation rapture. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man open. I know your works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not de denied my name. Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, <clears throat> because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from hour of temptation will shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that is fast. Thou hast hast that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and I shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. He hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Now, in the book of Revelations, it talks about other churches, the other lampstands. But this is the only one that is blessed and will we'll not go through what the world will go through. Okay? Now, we also have in Revelations 4, 1 through 2, and this will happen after the church is taken away. After this I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show or shew these things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and have behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. This gives you the event of God sweeping his church to him. You, it's, it says here, it, it happens very quickly in your in the spirit like a twinkling of an eye okay and then this is one of the things that will happen during the tribulation you have the beast and the Antichrist and he calleth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understandeth count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and a number is six hundred, three score and six, which means six six six. Okay, and. The reason I bring this up now, because the first thing that's going to happen very soon, Jesus is going to call his church. Jesus is coming soon. And my friends, 
if you don't have Jesus in your heart, if Jesus is not your master of your life, and the only thing you do to think of Jesus is when you go to church on Sunday, well then you may be left behind, my friends. And what I just heard another person a few minutes ago saying that all through the ages, people could read prophecy and say, yeah, the Lord is coming soon. There's all the signs. But century after century after century, he never came. What makes it different today, my friends? In the law that's been passed, there is a paragraph in the law that mandates everyone in the United States to receive a microchip under their skin. Are you listening to me? They're mandating every citizen of the United States to receive a microchip under their skin. And this chip will have an ability to be able to see what's in your checking account and everything about you in this chip. I don't know how clear we can make it, my friends. We are at the time. We're at the door. This is the time that the Lord is going to take His church. I don't know when that is. I don't know what's going to be today. I don't know what's going to be tomorrow. I don't know what's going to be next week, next month, next year, 10 years from now. I don't know this, but I do know one thing. It's very, very soon. And you need to watch and be ready. Now, you don't need to sit and wait. God has a plan for you to advance his kingdom before he comes. And that's what we're instructed to do. That's what God tells me to do. That's why I'm doing this video. Okay? You can go to my website. You want to hear the other programs at www.houseofisrael.webs That's W-E-B-S dot com. Again, that's www.house, that's H-O-U-S-E-O-F-I-S-R-A-E-L dot E-B-S dot com. And you can hear the other programs. This video will also be converted to audio, and it will be also posted on the website as well. Okay? Again, God bless everyone. I'm sorry this little program was very short, but this is the very first video. The video is very crude, and I apologize for that. You know, I've got a very little budget, so I only can do what I have, whatever God lets me have. So keep in mind, it's not the professionalism of the broadcast is what is being said. And God uses the smallest of us to give people his word and I thank all of you and and all of you please 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 read your Bible put Jesus in your heart remember yes salvation is free and it's done by faith but you know faith is not it alone yes you have to repent Yes, you have to be born again. The born again experience doesn't save you, but if you're saved, you're going to want to do the born again experience. You want to be baptized of the water and baptized of the Holy Spirit. Without that, you're not saved. That doesn't save you, but when you're saved, you're going to follow God's command. So that's why it's so important, my friends, to repent, ask the Lord for, your, for his forgiveness, acknowledge that he's your master of your life, he's your personal savior, and then you want to be baptized of the water, and you want to be baptized of the Holy Spirit, because 
a true Christian does not walk in the flesh. You understand me? A true Christian does not walk in the flesh. They walk in the spirit. And that's what God mandates. Jesus said, you will not see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. When he talked to Nicodemus in the book of John. Read the book of John and ask the Lord in your heart. Not just in your heart, but make him your master. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve the world. You can't serve your job and serve God. It's going to be one or the other. Which is it going to be? Is it going to be your job? Or is it going to be the Lord? Which is it? You have to make that decision. And you have to make it now. Because tomorrow may to might be too late tomorrow may be too late maybe Jesus may not come here tomorrow but you know something you may be in a car accident tomorrow you may you have no idea how long the time is on this earth you need to act like tomorrow is your last day of life you understand me thank you for viewing this video and I'll try to, try to make more and try to make them better in the future. God bless everyone and have a good day. Alright, bye-bye.